will there be enough, is there enough lithium supply in the world to enable you to build everything that you ambitiously want to build in the next few years at an affordable price? Moreover, all, which countries produce the most lithium? And in the future, could countries such as the United States go to war over it? For over two years, the semiconductor shortage has battered the auto industry, creating supply strains and sending prices for chips and cars soaring. Companies including Tesla, Volkswagen, and Mercedes posted record shipments in the first three months of 2022. But because of the surge in demand and another bottleneck, experts are unsure whether enough lithium is available. The critical element that powers our fast and loud world comes from some of the quietest, most desolate land on Earth. Lithium is the metal that makes lithium-ion batteries that power mobile phones, laptops, and electricity grids. The demand for lithium-ion batteries is expected to nearly triple by 2025. Because of this demand, lithium prices have surged staggering 438% above last year. The increase comes as the amount of metal used have almost quadrupled over the last decade. Also, the process for extracting lithium is complicated, involving either mining the ore and separating the metal, or pumping underground water deposits to the surface and extracting the metal from the pools. Then there's a relatively lack of investment, with yet to catch up with the rising demand. The lithium supply crunch has not gone unnoticed. Earlier this year, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted about the issue, commenting on what he described as the insane levels of lithium prices. Musk again raised his concern during an earnings call with investors, calling for more investment into the lithium mining to help close the supply gap. In the next two years, even though there will be a significant growth in supply, it will be less than the demand, so the gap will continue to grow. So which country is top producer of lithium? There are a handful of countries that dominate the lithium market. With the likes of the Tesla Gigafactory first cropping up in the US, and given the fact that the British American chemist Michael Stanley Whittingham birthed the modern lithium ion batteries in the 1970s, the United States does not rank on the top producers list. Even though the United States has some of the world's largest reserves, the country today has only one large scale lithium mine, Silver Peak in Nevada, which first opened in the 1960s. This site, Silver Peak, is the only one in the United States commercially producing lithium right now. Seems like you're in the Caribbean on yes. vacation. In the Caribbean, in the middle of Nevada. In, in the middle of the Nevada <laughs> desert. He says these pools have been producing lithium since the 1960s. The U.S. plans to ramp up domestic lithium production, but currently produces less than 2% of the world's supply. These mountains contain the largest deposit of lithium in Europe. Sold at 25,000 euros the ton, this prized commodity is in high demand from a huge number of high-tech industries. Portugal is the world's sixth largest lithium producing nation and a top producer among European countries with an output of 1,200 tons in 2019. According to the United States Geological Survey data, the country holds around 250,000 tons of lithium resources and 60,000 tons measured in mine reserve. In Arcadia, in Goromanzi, is the eighth biggest lithium deposit currently known in the hard rock sector in the world. This is a globally significant deposit. This is a properly serious world lithium deposit. It is the only lithium deposit in the world that has both lithium, both spodumene and petlite in the same deposit. Zimbabwe. The only African nation on the list, Zimbabwe produced 1,600 tons of lithium in 2019, maintaining the same level as the previous year total. Hard rock extraction of lithium ore is the dominant method used in this country. The Bakita mine in Masingo province in the south of the country is Zimbabwe's largest operational lithium mine and has been active since the 1950s. The Arcadia Lithium Project, a venture run by Australia-based miner Prospect Resources, is nearing commercial readiness. The mine is based just east of the capital, Harare, in northern Zimbabwe. The mining industry is a significant contributor to Zimbabwe's domestic economy. Although the country has historically better known for its production of precious metals like gold and platinum rather than lithium. Lithium extraction is well underway at the Olaro Sol Flats in the province of Jujuy in northern Argentina. It is referred to as the wild gold of renewable energy. Argentina, part of the famed lithium triangle. Argentina produced 6,400 tons of the metal in 2019, taking fourth place on the list of the world's top producing countries. The South American nation is also home to the world's second largest known reserves, with 17 million tons concentrated in the vast salt flats in the northwest of the country. 
The Salar del Hombre Muerto is a notable resource of lithium bronze in Argentina. New policies to promote investments from the mining sector and to do like give the, the sector more cert certainty about what they are trying to do uh, to, to develop the, the industry because we know that the world now needs more minerals to, to shift towards cleaner energies. Many companies have shown interest in investing in Argentina's lithium industry in recent years, but financial instability in the country and issues with finding the right technical expertise have so far been a barrier to the swifter progress given the size of its reserves. In 2021, China used up around 40% of the raw lithium mined globally. And even more alarmingly, according to strategic research provider Bloomberg MEF, China's share of the market for lithium ion batteries could be as high as 80%. China. Lithium production in China hit 7,500 tons in 2019, a slight increase from 7,100 tons in the previous year. China is the world's largest consumer of lithium. Due to the size of its battery manufacturing industry for electric vehicles and consumer electronics, to supplement its domestic production, China, along with South Korea and Japan, is among the world's top importers of lithium, much of which is sourced from Australian producers. Tenchi and Ganfin Lithium are two of the biggest Chinese producers of the metal, with mining operations both domestic and foreign. The hills behind me are rich in silver, gold, and especially copper, Chile's number one export. But it's what's underneath these salt flats, lithium, that's become one of the world's most valuable minerals. And it's what Chile is counting on for its future development. Chile sits second on the list, accounting for 18,000 tons of the lithium production in 2019. Out of the three countries comprising the lithium triangle, Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina, the nation has made the most successful progress in developing its vast natural resources to a commercial scale. Chile has the world's third largest reserves of the metal, totaling around 9 million tons. Lithium extraction in Chile, like in other South American countries, is primarily achieved via solar evaporation of huge brown pools. The Salar de Atacama salt flat is a key resource for the nation, and some of the world's top lithium mining companies have set up operations there, including Albemarle and Chile's SQM. Western Australia will become a really important supplier to global battery markets because we have a, a phenomenal natural endowment of hard rock mineral spodumene, which in turn contains the lithium. Australia is by far the world's top producer of lithium, with an output of 42,000 tons in 2019. Lithium extraction in the country comes largely from hard rock mining of spodumene, an ore that contains high levels of lithium as well as aluminum. The Greenbush's lithium mine in Western Australia, a joint venture between US-based Albemarle and China Tenchi Lithium, is built as the world's largest project to extract the metal. While it is the world's top producer, Australia has only the fifth largest known reserves of lithium in the world, estimated at 6.3 million tons. Hey guys, we come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. With the popularity of electric vehicles on the rise, do you think in the distant future that countries will go to war over lithium resources? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next time.